Hello and welcome to another French Cheeks Top Tip video. I'm Craig Phillips, their brand ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint your staircase. Everything from preparing the surfaces, masking up the walls, mixing your paint, applying it with a paintbrush, and also a handheld paint sprayer. Now, the paint I'm going to be using is French Cheeks Al Fresco paint. It's suitable for indoors and outdoors. Of course, you could use French Cheeks trim paint but these are perfect for hardware and surfaces like this one. So the first stage when you're painting anything is the most important, it's the preparation. Because if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. If existing woodwork has already been painted, it's wise to scrub it down with some sugar soap. Rinse it down with a clean damp cloth, then dry it with a tissue before you continue to prep. So I'm going to give it a good sanding down. It's already been painted once or twice before. So I'm going to use a light sandpaper, work my way all the way around every bit that we can see on it. If we find any gaps in there, we'll fill them, wait for it to dry and re-sand them. Next, I'm going to prepare the paint. Now, I mentioned I've got two different methods how I'm going to apply it. One is with Ten Cheeks paintbrush. All you have to do, give your tin a little shake and then a nice little stir up. And anyone who's used French heat paint before, they'll know it's lovely and thick and creamy, just like that. Which is perfect when you're piling it on with a paintbrush. However, when you're using a paint sprayer, it is a little bit too thick to be used with a paint sprayer, so it will need diluting down. Start off with about 10% of water in my reservoir and then I mix the paint in. I'm going to keep enough in the tin to show you a demonstration of applying it with the brush and I'm going to mix this up and within a couple of minutes you'll see it starts to go a little bit thinner. And that's the consistency you're looking for when using a paint sprayer. Now, when painting most woodwork things, whether it's your spindles, handrails, or even skirting boards, somewhere down the line, it meets the walls, the plaster work on there. And of course, you'll be using two different paints if you're painting the walls and the woodwork. So if you're very good with your brush, you can simply cut in nice and tight along there if you're confident on doing that. But we find a lot of people would prefer to get a standard roll of masking tape. This is about 38 millimeters, and they run it along the plaster work, nice and snug, up against the woodwork. Now I'm going to be spraying this end of it here. So I'm going to need something a little bit wider than that. I tend to use this masking tape. Now it has masking tape already connected to the polyphen. So I'm going to start lower down here. I'm going to place the edge of the tape onto the plaster work. And I'm going to continue that tape all the way up to the top. I'm going to take my scissors and cut that off there. Once you've got that masking tape fixed to the plaster work, the polyphen can fold out and it's got a static effect so it grabs to the surface. I'll take down those edges and now I'll do the same on the opposite side. Now those of you who've seen some of my painting videos before in the past, you'll know I don't often use brushes that much. However, when you're using French Chic paint, it's so thick and creamy and pleasurable to apply. It makes painting with a paintbrush quite therapeutic. When applying the first coat with your paintbrush, you may notice some very fine brush strokes on the surface. Do not worry about this. All French Cheeks paints are self-leveling and they will flatten out once it's dry. Now, if you're using a paintbrush, two coats is ample. However, if you dilute the paint down and use your paint sprayer, I'd recommend at least three coats. When paint spraying spindles, they are quite difficult. Of course, they've got four sides. So I start by spraying the left-hand side. Then I come to the middle and spray the front. Then the right-hand side before going around the back and spraying the fourth side. And of course, you always give it a very light sanding down between coats. Now you can see the second coat being applied. You don't see any of them brush marks. 
it's touch dry within one or two hours in normal conditions. Then you can apply a second coat after two hours if it feels dry. This may vary if you're using it outdoors depending on the weather conditions. So that's how quick and easy it is for you to get a professional result on your woodwork using French Chic's paint, whether you're using a paintbrush or a paint sprayer. If you're looking for more inspiration, head over to the French Chic Fan Forum on Facebook. And if you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, French Chic TV. But if you just want to know more about the paints I've been using, head over to their website, frenchheatpaint.co.uk.